Hey Gemini, what's up? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot and this is your general love reading. We're going to see what's going on with you guys in love. If it resonates, I do encourage you to like, share, comment, subscribe. Um, you could be a Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or you could be dealing with a Gemini, okay? Personal readings, I'm available. They're by video recorded readings like this or um, Etsy message. You can also check out my Etsy shop for my tarot oracle deck, spiritual jewelry, and cheat sheets. All right, so let's jump right in. Messages for Gemini. Happy Friday to you guys. All right, what's going on with the Geminis out there? <laughs> All right, let's see. Um, we got the Six of Pentacles in reverse. So the challenge for you guys um, is that you're in a situation where things have not been fair and balanced, right? You may feel as if you're pouring a lot more into this connection, your love, your loyalty, your time, your commitment, and you're not getting it back in return. So this is saying that there's something in your life or some area in your life where you feel like there's been a lack of equal give and take there's been a lack of reciprocity you haven't been getting back what you need you haven't been getting what you put in okay so i feel like there's a, there's a need for adjustments okay there's a need for change in a recent past gemini we have the hermit in reverse we have the justice in reverse libra energy and the queen of pentacles in reverse taurus virgo capricorn strong virgo energy in the past, I think, Gemini, you had to really take a break from something. I see that you've been doing a lot of inner work, a lot of reflecting, a lot of healing, okay? Spending time with yourself, going within, connecting with source. And I feel like this was necessary because whoever you're dealing with, I feel like they weren't bringing you what you needed. They weren't bringing you the security, the protection, okay? The stability, the commitment that you want, okay? And I'm seeing a situation just like the Six of Pentacles in verse, the justice in reverse, where you feel like something was unbalanced, it wasn't fair, this person wronged you, they went out of the way to hurt you, you didn't feel like you were respected in this connection, okay? There's something here where it's like things were not the way it should be. So let's see what the current energy is. The current energy is the High Priestess in reverse, the Ace of Cups with the Four Wands in reverse. So it does look like there's a situation that is not um, where it should be. I mean, the Four Wands typically is instability. There's uncertainty right now as to what's going on. There's someone here in your life, Gemini, that's been keeping things a secret from you. I'm seeing a very secretive energy with the High Priestess. So maybe they haven't been revealing their next moves or their motives or their desires. Now, what I do see coming out of this is the Ace of Cups. So there is an offer here here there's a beautiful offer there's an offer where someone here truly loves you and is extending themselves to you so if you're open to new love if you're open to reconciliation with the past person i do see that in the cards for you guys gemini okay so let's see what's coming in in their future we have the six of wands so this is about achieving about victory okay three of swords in reverse and the devil in reverse it looks to me like this six of wands is contingent okay it's contingent on the the well the following three of swords okay there's something you're having to move away from something that's caused you a lot of pain hurt emotional uh devastation this is this is a breakup or some kind of separation here now in order to get some kind of achievement, in order to be successful, okay, getting to some kind of goal, you're having to release the hurt, the trauma, the past, the anger, the resentment. The devil is in reverse. That's something that you're being, you're, you're chained to, you're feeling tied to, you're feeling bound to, and it's not serving you any good. So the message here, Gemini, is that if you let go of something from the past that's been really holding you back, if you free yourself, if you cut the cord, if you let it go, if you if you no longer hold on to what it was and the hurt that may have caused it or, or that came from that situation, the sooner you'll be able to have a victory in a situation, achieve what you want and be able to move forward, okay? So let me see what's on your mind, Gemini. Nine of swords in reverse and a ten of pentacles. There is a lot of anxieties and worries about taking action on a situation i'm seeing the energy of something that is bothering you gemini you're in your head about you're frustrated you're anxious you're worried you are an air sign you tend to overthink but what i'm also seeing is the ten of pentacles so there's a need for you to focus on what matters focus on your stability your home your investments okay um ten of pentacles could, could look like many different things but something that's going to provide you with stability and structure back in your life okay it could also be money now give me the energy of what's in the foundation you're unaware of the Eight of Cups, the Six of Cups, the Eight of Swords, 
and a chariot. Now, what it looks like to me is that someone has really tried hard. I mean, when I say hard, they really tried hard to forget about you because we have the Eight of Cups and the Six of Cups right next to it. So this person will not outwardly admit that they're still madly in love with you. They find themselves thinking about you day in and day out. This is someone who has a lot of memories of the past and they may try to walk away from it. They may try to escape it, act like it doesn't exist. Oh, I'm good. I'm fine. Um, but they can't escape the memories of, of the past with you. There, there's been a lot of good times, a lot of great experiences. And they look at you as a soulmate, someone who they really cared about. Now, the more they try to fight it, the more they try to let it go and act like it doesn't bother them, the more it hurts them. Okay, the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords is when this person is feeling stuck tied bound trapped to their ideas their feelings right and they can't escape now what it, what it looks like it's going to happen is that this person is going to eventually have to take action on a situation the chariot is about movement the chariot could be them reaching out we're going to find out what this chariot is but there's action okay chariot is about being victorious the six of wands and the outcome is about being victorious so i feel like this victory is coming with regard to this person okay the victory that you're going to be experiencing is because this person is finally taking action all right so let's jump right in let's get some more messages for you gemini if this is your reading like share comment and subscribe Okay, we're going to start off with the Six of Pentacles in the verse. This is the challenge that, Gemini, you're in your, in, you're in your head about. You are, um, you're faced with right now in some way. So why is the Six of Pentacles here? Ten of Wands and Ace of Pentacles. So there has been an ending. Ten of Wands, when you hit rock bottom, something is quite devastating, you know, an all-time low. After an ending, you're trying to move forward and pick up the pieces and have this new beginning. Now, some of you, you know, you may be afraid of having a new beginning with someone because you feel in the past they just didn't give you all of them. They breadcrumbed you. They they didn't they didn't reciprocate the love. So there could be a new beginning coming in for you guys with someone. Um, if it is the same person, that is a fear. There's a fear of you going back to what was in the past, which may have not been very balanced. Um, others of you guys, this Ace of Pentacles, could just be a new beginning. It could be a new beginning with someone else. It could be a new relationship, okay, brewing in for you guys. So give me the energy of the Hermit. Virgo energy in the past, the Hermit. Three of Wands, and we have the Six of Pentacles again. So Gemini, I feel like you've been very, very patient with this person. There's the energy of waiting, 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 waiting for my ships to come in, waiting for this person to finally do right by me, waiting for waiting for an opportunity, waiting for this person to finally turn the tables, six of pentacles where this person gives more or gives all of themselves. So I feel like there's a situation that you've been you've been kind of like dealing with because you felt this person would eventually change but i don't think they did because the justice card in the verse is indicating that you could have been in a situation that was very unfair for a really long time maybe you were waiting for this person to commit and they just chose not to the hermit and the five of wands yeah and there's something about you fighting fighting this person there was a lot of resistance fighting between you guys um but i'm, I'm getting the energy i got that was something that got tiring okay it's almost like you we're not going to continue to fight this person or fight for something you felt you honestly deserved. Do you know what I mean? There's the energy of I deserve more. I deserve commitment. I deserve respect. And I feel with the hermit, some of you guys, you may have decided to disconnect from this person. There's the energy of disconnecting, isolating yourself, um, isolating yourself from this person, pulling away, okay, because this person was not willing to see things your, your your point of view they were not willing to take action to make things more balanced why is the queen of pentacles in reverse definitely a non-committal energy here you may have felt like you gave a lot to this person um and they even expected a lot from you but they gave very little in return okay ace of wands in verse yeah something just didn't take off and that was not sustainable okay i feel like this person could have offered you a great time but there was more you needed more so give me the energy of the high priestess. There's something very secretive here. We have the nine of cups and a three of swords. So it looks like to me there's something being revealed as to why this person hurt you or broke your heart. Why there was a separation. Why there was a division here. And I feel like it had to do with someone's selfishness. Okay, the Nine of Cups is indicating that someone was selfish, someone was only thinking about their needs, right? How they're going to be happy at the end of the day, not about you, Gemini. So that there's something that's being revealed, and I feel like what is being revealed is maybe giving you some clarity where you didn't have any, especially with the Four of Wands in reverse, where you felt like 
because you didn't know something it kept you feeling stuck it kept you feeling like in this place where you know like the rug was just ripped up under you you don't you didn't know why though you know so the four wands are versus a lot of instability a lot of uncertainty um a lack of clarity and it affected you day in and day out it brought a lot of instability to your life but what it looks like here is that the high priest is something finally being revealed as to why and i feel like it's not really a good reason but it's explaining that this person which is selfish there really was no reason why. So I feel like there's an energy of this person coming out to tell you this because of the Ace of Cups. Because they want a new beginning. Page of Swords. And the Two of Pentacles. So what it looks like to me is that in a current energy, there's something about weighing options. Okay? Weighing options, Gemini. And I feel like this is you. You may be having to weigh options to decide on what you want. How do you want to move forward? Because there could be two roads, two people, two paths. There could be like literally you having to decide yes or no. What it looks like to me is that someone will communicate with you. You may find out something here with the Page of Swords. This could be with someone here who's been watching you for a really long time. And they may even come in with uh, towards you with some kind of communication because their intention is to have a new beginning ace of cups who's someone here who wants to offer love now gemini i feel for a select few of you guys you have a love offer coming in from someone else and therefore this person is watching and they see it okay and that's why this person is coming to you with the truth and revealing everything that they did in the past so with the two of pentacles i feel some of you you may have two people to decide between a past person and a new person i do feel if it is a past person who sees you uh, being offered this new Ace of Cups, they're very jealous. They're very jealous with the Nine of Cups. They want you for themselves. And it may not necessarily be because they want to treat you good. It's that they just want you for themselves. They don't want you to be happier elsewhere, okay? So that is the message here I'm seeing. Now, give me the energy of the Nine of Swords. This is stressful for you. Yeah, look, Three of Cups. Because there's something about you, um, I'm getting the energy of, a reconciliation or reconnection you've been really waiting for and now that it's here it's kind of like i don't know what i want to do with it so i feel like there's someone that you've been wanting to come together for a really long time um three of cups yeah two of wands and now that this person is reappearing and again they may be repairing for the wrong reason they may see you have love elsewhere now right and so the two of wands of verse you're gonna have to make a decision and i feel like this decision is gonna be very stressful for you with the nine of swords you're gonna be like so chaotic so confused so frustrated why is the Ten of Pentacles here? We have the High Priestess in a verse. I feel like you guys are really just having to use your intuition with regard to this because, again, I feel like there's someone who is not very, uh, they may not have the best intentions. They may not be making you a genuine offer. It may come because an offer is coming to you from elsewhere, you know? So give me the energy of the Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups with the Six of Cups. Definitely some past energy here. The world. The world and the tree of light. I feel like this is all happening for obviously a higher reason, Gemini. There's someone here who definitely sees an opportunity with you. They should have made better decisions in the past, obviously. And I think now they're realizing it, which is why they're reappearing in your life the way they are right now. So this is someone that may have walked away from you. But now in great conflict, they're feeling stuck. They're feeling bound to thoughts of you. Um, Six of Cups. They're thinking of the good times. Thinking of the memories. Thinking of how things were at one point. Why is the Six of Cups with the Eight of Swords? here four of wands with the six of wands in reverse so i feel like this person is realizing that the reason why their life is so unstable and just very uncertain there's a lack of structure in their life is because they have not been victorious with you they don't feel like they've been able to win so there's the energy of wanting to win the chariot right they want to come to you to have a victory because right now they're not feeling very victorious they're not feeling victorious. Six of Wands in reverse. So there's the energy of wanting to win you back, win you over. But a lot of you guys, Gemini, again, they could be seeing you as someone who's having happiness elsewhere. Maybe another lover is coming into your life and now they want to win you back. And that could be the only reason why they're coming in. They don't want you to be happy elsewhere. They don't want anyone else to have you. So now there's like, oh, let me come in. Okay, so the energy of the, ch the chariot, what's this chariot about? Yeah, the Nine of Pentacles in verse. This person wants to come in to consider a partnership or some kind of recommitment. Um, it could be some kind of companionship or just coming back in your life in general, you know? So give me the energy of the Six of Wands. I feel like this is something you definitely have been wanting, but let's see the Six of Wands about. The wheel, timing is everything, the strength. Gemini, take it easy, okay? I wouldn't like run or rush to this person. There is the energy of you achieving something you really, really wanted with the strength card. It's testing you though. It's it's some kind of, I'm getting test here. Now, the three of swords in verse, you, you have to remember that 
there's some kind of pain of situation that you went through and with the with the three of swords here in a verse i almost feel like some of you you may want to jump into a connection or you know whether it's old person or a new person but you have to remember what you've gone through you have to continue to heal you have to let it go you have to release you have to, you know the devil and the three of swords and verse could be indicating that there's something from the past you still haven't broke away from it still affects you day in and day out and it may affect your ability to have a loving relationship so with the four pentacles in verse it's about letting go cutting ties not letting go of a person necessary but letting go of the burden letting go of something you've been holding on to tightly the hurt the trauma the pain you know the anger let that go because the devil in a verse it's not serving you anymore there's no place for it okay so i really feel like there's good things coming in for you whether you choose past old person whatever new person the wheel is as good changes progression karma faded events but there's still an energy of you continuing to do the work the strength card okay don't just give up when things get tough don't give up because you're just near the end of the finish line okay so i do see you having a victory in some kind of situation and i do see a new beginning coming in ace of pentacles um after the ten of wands a really difficult cycle okay so this is what i'm seeing here just make sure that it's everything that you truly want it's balanced it's reciprocated and it's fair okay so gemini that is what i'm seeing i hope you guys enjoyed this reading like share comment and subscribe hit the notification bell so you're aware when i upload and happy friday you guys have a great and wonderful weekend blessings